Hey, my name is Emily Pelton, and I'm an artist from Detroit, Michigan. Um, a little bit about myself. I graduated from the College for Creative Studies in Detroit. I went there for about five years, and I majored in fine arts, painting, and sculpture. And then I also majored in um, education. So after I went to CCS, I got an internship at the Guggenheim Museum in New York. So I moved out there to Harlem, uh, what was that, like last year, and I worked in the education department there. And it was all right, like I would give like tours around the museum and to help with like after school activities in the art room there, which was cool, but I didn't really like it. So, and I miss Michigan a lot, so I decided to come back here where I got a job here. Actually, this is my classroom. I'm an art teacher now, high school art teacher. Here we can kind of see my classroom, it's huge. So I got that side of the room, and then it's this side of the room, sink and giant windows. I don't know if you can see out the windows, but it's a nice view of like a cool, cool view of the city. Um, but yeah, so I would describe myself as an artist and an art teacher, because in the free time I still do make a lot of art. Um, see next question. How did you get into art? Um, I've always been into art. Like, it's just something that I've always done. I don't remember even, like, liking anything else. Like, in school, I was always the art kid. I always skipped classes to go to the art room, you know? Um, always making art. So, and I knew, like, ever since I was little, art is what I was going to do. Number three, let's see. What was the turning point when you knew art was what you wanted to pursue? Hmm, I don't know, I really got serious about art. Well, I, I always really liked art, but I really got serious about it when I went to high school. When I transferred to a public school, North Farmington High School, um, I think it was my junior year, I transferred there, and I met this art teacher, Holt Palmer, who basically showed me that art can be like whatever you want, because at my old school that I went to, like we had to do strict projects where everyone had to look pretty much the same, and it had to be like perfect which wasn't what I wanted to do. But this, at this other school, I saw that art, you know, you can go like crazy with art and it's awesome. Um, so that's when I really started getting more into it and sort of finding my style. Um, I really don't think I would have gotten into art if I wasn't allowed to express myself the way I did at North Farmington. Uh, let's see, what would be your absolute dream job? Uh, my dream job would be teaching in New York. Um, teaching in Detroit, it's, it's pretty cool, but the kids here are super rough. Um, but they can be sweethearts sometimes too, but, you know, I mean, I just showed you the size of this room and they like to run and throw stuff in here, which isn't always fun, but, you know, it happens. Um, but I'm probably going to be here again next year too, and I, and I still love it, but being in New York would be awesome because just, uh, being able to live in the city is super fun there. Okay, let's see. Is there a theme in your art? I definitely do have a theme in my art. It's food and people. Those are the main things that I love to paint. You can kind of see there's I have a painting behind me here. A um, big old mouth with some like candies flying into it. This is oil. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Some candies going in there. Um, but yeah, so I also do, I do a lot of paintings with oil and acrylic, but I also, I'd love to do stuff with food. Uh, so not like really sculptures, but I like doing paintings with chocolate. So, and to paint with chocolate, it's the same concept as paint. You just, uh, you can melt the chocolate and use your fingers or a brush or whatever you can think of to paint with the melted chocolate. It's just like, um like a really thick paint when you apply it and then it smells really good and like when I do hair details and stuff you can put the chocolate in a, like one of those piping bags and pipe it out of the bag so it looks like little flowers and hair when you paint portraits and stuff. Um, and then I also I use chewed gum to create portraits and sculptures like I made um, a box of chewed gum donuts which are really cool because like for like 
two weeks, two or three weeks, I chewed gum all day, every day, and then made myself sick basically chewing all this gum. But I would chew all the colors and save them in different areas according to what color they are. And then when I was ready to make the sculpture, I would pick the gum up and chew it again. Like if I wanted brown, I would take a piece of red gum and green gum, and I would chew it together, and it would come out brown. Because that's the color that you get when I would mix those two different colors. So then I would get a big old wad of gum, and then just start, you know, sculpting it basically to look like donuts. And I add some sprinkles and a nice, like, Elmer's glue glaze. Uh, so I kind of like doing sort of weird, interesting stuff like that.